Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 9! Tag Team! Parang Team... Uh, team... Kumaga... Parang 3-on-3 parang uh, mini tour namin pala itong... Itong pakana ni Manya. May nag-approach kay Manya na... Siya na lang daw ang lumaban. Pero ang gusto niyang kalaban, si Manabu. Ang nagsasalita pa lang ito, yung aso niyang si Bochi. You cannot be 70% sure at this time na ito yung hinahanap na alien nila Manabu. Dati palang alaga ni, ni Manabu ito nung bata, si Bochi. Well, he turns out to be an alien. So, tuloy yung duelo. Bochi... Drew first blood dahil siya unang nakapag uh, siya unang nakapag deal ng damage so down ngayon si Manabu then while the while the duel was going on kinuwento na ng parehong side literally yung kanilang side on uh, on this issue na nag uh, na, na, nagkatampuhan sila na realize ni Manabu na Oh, teka muna, alien ka pala And you're disturbing the peace I need to beat you in this duel Eventually, yep, Manabu won Nilabas yung ace niya Yung uh, Yung chemical, uh, Chemicalized salamander Things worked out well in the end Final scene So Well, technically, Yui is up next His opponent Kararating lang. Ito pa lang ah uh, tiga ito pa lang nagdi-deliver ng sushi kay Manya. Ang susunod niyang kalaban yata. Who happens to be the uh, si Chupa Boy. Bigo, Patreon mga ka lifestyle. Wag na tayong patupik tumpik pa. Let's break that episode down now. Critics of style. Base. From the moment na magtatapos na yung yung kwento ni Manabu tungkol kay kung kul kay uh, kay Bozzi, I knew right then that well looks like this backstory is gonna pick up in terms of pacing do I have completes guys wala naman it's a good thing na in installment nila yung buong backstory ng uh, ng naging gap nila Bozzi at Manabu Mabuti naman ginawa nilang installment because, hey, the, the highlight of this episode is again the dual scene. The dual scene provided the pacing of this episode. Kaya, it was a good call for for Bridge to, um, to, um, to put that backstory into two parts. So, naman, first gear shift here was when... Uh, Bochi was introduced as Manabu's opponent. It's probably the easiest gear shift to spot. Marirealize mo right there na Nako, mukhang may nung ikikwentong to si Manabu ah. Mukhang may Mukhang may sikreto yung tinatago to ah. Second and final gear shift. Yup, dalawa lang yun. Was the, was the sequence where Kinuwento ni Bochi kung paano siya natagpuan ni... Paano siya ni-rescue ni... Ni Manya. Just goes to show you that... Well, you had gear shift na... May mga... Well, you can expect that... Marami bang alien ang magkakaroon ng ganito pinaghuhugutan. It won't be just... It won't be just... Um, uh, UTS, of course. It won't be just Bochi. Siguro, marami pang alien ang ganito na talagang meron malalalim na dahil lang kung bakit nila ginagawa yung uh, on being, uh, uh, being bad to humans, being mistreating humans, parang gano'n yan eh. So, these two gear shifts that I saw, um, the last one, will play a role down the line in this Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Plot-wise, well, the way na ginawa nilang installment yung yung full backstory between the backstory between uh, Bochi and Manabu at talagang in-case nila within the dual scene pero 
hindi nawala yung excitement ng 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 buong dual scene okay hindi uh, hindi bumagal unnecessarily ang pacing dito sa dual scene so you guessed it planchado ang plot digo patreon mga ka lifestyle simply because of a two, well, basically a two-part backstory na talagang maganda yung pagkakapasok ng bawat isa. Talagang, you can really tell that Konami insists on uh, a dual scene with a separate script. I've been, I've been noticing that ever since Uh, ever since the um, ever since the Gallup days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Talagang halatang halata mo may, may sariling script ang dual scene. May sarili siyang script talaga. And now, it's, it, it, it became more evident nung 7th na. It became more evident talaga. When it comes to well iron out plots, magaling. Magaling gumawa ang ang tawag ito magaling dapat yung studio na magte-take on sa, sa Yu-Gi-Oh! and well, Bridge has been delivering well ironed out plots that if you're new to if you're new to the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise mabagkakamala mong malinis na plot to but nope I've been watching animes for too long for nearly half for nearly all my life kaya alam ko kung planchado o malinis yung plot kasi kung malinis sa plan ito, walang continuous yan. And, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna see one whole episode as a dual scene. Pero dito, may mga uh, may mga build up phase, then of course, the um, uh, the build up into the final scene from the dual scene. So, well, aren't out plot, guys. Talagang, whew, it somehow uh, gave value to the two-part backstory within the dual scene. Kaya nagkaroon ng value ang, ang backstory na to. Because of the, uh, yeah, it was a well-ironed out plot. Kasi kung nilagay nila nila basta-basta ito, wala eh. Sira ang buong episode. Sira ang buong episode. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush! Episode 9! Hindi ko na naman sabihin si Fitz. Um... Dessert. Two thumbs up! Tsaka! Yeah. I've already said a mouthful on what to expect with, uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush uh, after reviewing its first 9 episodes. So... Ako, well... You can, you can, uh, you can treat it as bias, because I am an openly, uh, I, I am an open Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Okay? I've been a Yu-Gi-Oh fan since two, since, uh, since GX. I've been a Yu-Gi-Oh player since 2000, uh, 2006. Yeah. I've been an official player since 2009. So I know my stuff. Uh, hindi naman sa pagbubuot ng sarili ko hindi naman sa pagbubuot ng sarili ko siya right I know my stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh pero nine episodes in looks like we're we're going to have an even an even wilder series than Sevens and considering that this is a legit spin-off of Sevens halata sa storyline <clears throat> Tsaka yung, yung names, the names of the lead characters and supporting. Anata nga natay. So, yeah. That's, that's what we should expect. Nine episodes in, more new characters are coming. Eh, ngayon pa lang, uh, in, as, in as many as, yan, in as many episodes, marami na silang bagong character na in-introduce in dito. They didn't dwell on uh, on the three main pro tags that much which is yeah which is right in a way and 
in the case of Bochi, mukhang malaking role ang ang gagampanan niya later on in this anime. That's what, that's what I've been, you know, yun, yun na nakikita ko rito eh. He's going to be, uh, uh, he's going to be a big lead character here. Kasi, bodyguard siya niya eh. Bodyguard siya ni, ni Manya. And well, <clears throat> Manya has gotten, uh, has re-established her friendship, of course, with, uh, with one of the main protags, si Yuamu. Childhood friend niya to. So, yeah. A lot of connections are being, are being seen here as of late. So, I'm going to expect, I'm going to expect, um, uh, this one to be wilder than Sevens. So, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush Episode 9 Two thumbs up Another two thumbs up for Go Rush mga ka-lifestyle Hmm Okay si Boje no? Okay siyang kakampi Ako Pero but Can't wait for the next episode Excuse me So Patreon and Beagle Wait for my next upload regarding this anime And if you're still stuck with the CHD Ano ba naman kayo? Huwag na kayo maghari mo nan. Alright? Eh, kung ganyan pa rin kayo, eh, papanunan ko lang, papanunan ko na lang kayo uli mag-chill-chill dyan. Bahala kayo sa buhay nyo. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.